So this is uh, skills homework 10. There we are, you can see it. And we're on uh, question 2, which is drawing a kite diagram for this this data across a pond from one margin to the other. So if we imagine a pond with some water in and we're looking at what types of plants might appear across there. So we're going from one area to another. We've got an x-axis, which is our independent variable, uh, which is the thing that we are changing. So that's distance across the pond. And we've got type of plant down there. So this table looks looks a little bit odd. But sometimes you've got to plot data from odd looking tables. But you've got to identify your independent variable and your dependent variable is this data in here. What do the letters stand for? So we've got our ACK4 scale. So 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Abundant. Let's see, stand for I can't even remember. Common, frequent, occasional, rare. There we are. So we're just going to put that into our into our graph. And so again I'm going to use red pen just to make it stand out. But you'd do this in pencil, of course. And that axis distance across the pond. And it has some units, which is meters. And we've got 10, 10 meters, so we'll start there at 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Yep, yeah, that fits on. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. We can have our plants down here. So this is our plant. We've got five different plants. One, two, three, four, five. Nice uh, imaginative names there. So let's just have uh, plant one, two, three, four, five down there. Okay. And this data is a bit odd, 0 to 1. Well, well, we'll put that, we'll plot the point at at the kind of uh, halfway point for these. Ecology data is occasionally very, uh, very strange indeed. And so, at 0 to 1, so I'm going to this is going to be our 0 0.5, 1.5, 2.5, 3.5, 4.5, 5.5, 6.5, 7.5, 8.5, 9.5, 10.5, 11.5, 12.5, 13.5, 14.5, 15.5, 16.5, 17.5, 18.5, 19.5, 
as ever joining these up dot to dot and that's plant one and zero 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 but then we've got actually a a point here at nine point five we've got a got a point here so and that's occasional which is two and we've got no data for no data for eight to nine so at eight point five so that's that and then where it goes from there not quite sure so we, we don't know what ten and a half would be so now we're just going to quickly plot the other ones so at for plant two we've got occasional two frequent three Frequent three. Wrong place. This is why you use pencil. Uh, three and a half. Frequent three. Four and a half there. Which is one. So you can, and at five and a half we haven't got a point, so we'll make that disappear. Luckily, I'll pass this straight through there. I'll cover up my, spare my blushes there a little bit. And does this reappear in at eight and a half? We've got a point, which is rare one. Nothing at seven and a half. And occasional two at nine and a half. So we can join those up. Where it's going from then on we don't know, so I'm not going to plot that. Three, here we go, it's at two and a half. It's rare, so we're going to have one. Occasional two on the next one. Not present, and it wasn't present the previous one. Little kite. And six and a half is rare. Wasn't present previously. Occasional two. Occasional two. And not present at our last point. Slightly ropey point that <coughs> docker mark off for that one. Glad I'm not doing this in the exam. Plant four frequent. So that is three. There's nothing at the previous one. Common four. Occasional two, rare one, occasional two, not present. I've done it again. It's because I'm trying to rush it. So 
If I was following my own advice and using a pencil, I would rub this out nicely and it would still look nice and neat in the end. I'm going to try and finish this before Miss Knights comes back into the staff room and spots my error. Three to four common. So common is four. Nothing at the previous one. Abundant five at four and a half. Occasional at six to seven, so occasional is two. Rare at seven and a half and not present eight and a half join these up ignore the ringing phone so we can see a kite diagram its entirety and then we can see the distribution of the plants and uh, these different types of plants so one and two because what types of plants might they be well one or two are kind of plants that live at the sides of this pond three ones that live in the kind of medium depth water Four and five, ones that live in the middle, in the deeper, the deeper water. So they might be able to tolerate that deeper, deeper water conditions. And draw it in pencil, and you'll have a nice uh, graph at the end.